Jerusalem, it I love you. Jerusalem, it I love of your life all is well in the kingdom of this sacred moment and thanks be to Master KG for this song Jerusalem I am Astarius Miraculi and welcome to Ascension Live Today's subject is Vortex of Creation. We're going to go deep into that as to how it relates to the Ascension Frequency and how it relates to the Lion's Gate portal, which we are still in that portal, though the apex was on 8-8-2020. But the frequency of the Lion's Gate is still here and so we're still taking advantage of that frequency all is well in the kingdom of this sacred moment blessed be the glory of this now moment all is well in the kingdom of our now Ascension Live takes place every Monday on Facebook at 6 p.m. Pacific Time and every Friday on Instagram, 6 p.m. Pacific Time. Also, be on the lookout for an amazing 90-minute webinar that's going to take place on Wednesday, 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Fearless Heart Activation. I will be co-creating with my beloved family, Sienna Sherman and Masood Ali Khan. 
It's going to be a miraculous event. So if you come, look forward to a miraculous time. You'll see on my Facebook page the information on that as well as the link that will take you to the landing page to get all of the rest of the particulars. It's going to be some kind of amazing and I am so grateful that you'll be there. I'm thanking you in advance. Be sure and go to my website, astarius.com. A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S dot com. And experience some of my music albums and my books. And also know that uh, I am available for intuitive astrological readings as well as sound healing transmissions with didgeridoo and vocal harmonics. <laughs> receptivity as we venture into the wisdom relative to the vortex of creation. I see myself as God sees me cut from the sacred cloth of creator's own divinity microcosm of God's allness I am journeying down the corridors of an eternal expand we are all fashion of sacredness and heavenly purity so let's purify our gaze rise up and truly see we have no business called original sin who we are is that deepest light within. The outer human darkness of sickness, fear, and pain was never meant to last and will certainly not maintain. So let's see ourselves as God sees us, transcendent beyond all fear and the keepers of heaven's trust. We are sacred, we are pure, we are wise, we are strong, we are light, we are love, we are healed, we are whole, we are abundant, we are at peace. The vortex of creation, the central core of being, that central essence out of which every reality comes into being. We originate from the vortex of creation and we are also an extension of the vortex of creation. We could also call it mm, the womb of creation. And I got something here to try to get in there. Not sure where it came from, but that's all right. God bless you. God bless you, whatever your little hair or whatever. <laughs> oh, God. You know, human things we deal with. So the vortex of creation, a.k.a. the womb of creation, 
aka the inner sanctum, the sacred pause, the stillness in slow motion, the I and the I am of the vortex, or the I and the I am of the storm. So within this vortex of creation is any and everything that could possibly come into being, any and everything that we could possibly want for, right there within the vortex of creation. So we don't have to strenuously coerce anything into being or summon anything into being it is a matter of tenderly allowing and letting there be whatever it is that we're wanting to emanate from the vortex of creation. Before going deeper into the particulars of this, I think I want to just invoke from within that central core of the vortex of creation. So let's start with spirit rap and uh, a couple different selections from spirit rap. Let me just locate it here as you're patient with me while I get my ducks in a row because you know I love you so much. <laughs> I love you with the passion of heaven and I am so grateful that you hold space for me as I hold space for you. And that which I'm looking for should be showing up momentarily. There it is, okay. Let's do that, and then let's go forward here. And then uh, align with me as we invoke from this place of the vortex of creation. cellular centered in my being, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual in this now, with the full support of God, God is the ascended master realm to include our ascended master self, Father Saint Germain, Sananda, the Holy Mother Mary, Kwan Yin, Goddess of Mercy, Archangel Michael and the Legions, Ashtar and the entire command, Baba Ji, Raphael, Gabriel, Planet of the Covenant Angels, Aboriginal and Tribal Shaman, Goddesses of Fortune, Angels of Light, Elohim, Clan of the Serpents, Shiva, all Christ frequencies, all animal totems, elementals of fire, air, water, and earth, all divine beings of light, love, and ascension, named and unnamed, to activate the cells within my being who are your counterparts with the unified power of the one. I decree my highest good always operating in this now. I decree grace and mercy always operating in this now. I invoke decree and dream away the full truth and reality of ascension in this now. I invoke and dream awake with every breath that I breathe the violet fire transmuting my whole being. I invoke and dream awake the full current of ascension in every cell of my being. I am ascended. I invoke and dream awake expanded God consciousness fully realized in me as an unlimited abundance fulfilling my every need and desire. I invoke and dream awake the ending of procrastination, tiredness, blockages, obstacles, and unhealthy belief systems. I decree immediate abundance in my life. I invoke and dream awake my liberation from all karmic debt. I am infinite opulence. I invoke and dream away my personal empowerment in every instant that anyone is impacted by my being and creations. I invoke and dream away the infinite empowerment of my sexual, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, and financial relationship with life. I invoke and dream away sacred sexuality, erotic innocence, and always express the sacredness of sexual force for pleasure, creativity, and healing. I invoke and dream away world universal healing from all sexual woundedness and shame. I invoke and dream away worldwide release of all manipulating forces and beings who would control humanity past, present, and future. I invoke the angels and ascended masters to realign and heal all misused energy to include the full restructuring of our DNA. 
I invoke and dream awake the transmutation of all negative and judgmental projections. I invoke and dream awake my constant ability to be centered and balanced in my psychic perceptions and empathic nature. All overwhelming psychic energies are released by me automatically, easily, effortlessly. I am empowered by everything. I invoke and dream awake my lucid dream each night I sleep in total remembering when I awake. I invoke and dream awake my infinite harmony with God, Goddess I am. I invoke and dream awake the full expression of my miraculous healing power. My life is a continuous stream of miracles. I invoke and dream awake my infinite ability and willingness to receive all life's blessings. I invoke and dream awake a constant attitude of gratitude for my whole life, all my accomplishments and blessings including the same for the universe at large. I invoke and dream away the full blessings of God, Goddess, the Ascended Masters, Angels, Guides, and Beings of Light to bless this earth. I invoke and dream away all my decrees, invocations, and prayers I have released to the universe and open myself to God's response, support, and love in my highest good. I invoke and dream away the release of all past, present, and future lifetimes of decrees and vows which would bind me to limitation, lack, density, and anything not of ascension in this now. I invoke and dream away the full reclaiming of my eternal self as powerful, loving, and fully aligned and abundant God consciousness. I invoke and dream awake the total dissolving of all manipulating forces which would bind this earth plane in fear. I invoke and dream awake the influence of the ascended master realm and angels to intercede and raise the vibrations higher to bring darkness into the light, raising the frequency of love and God consciousness on planet earth in this now. I invoke and dream awake the ascension of planet earth in this now. And coming up, Violet Fire One, Tube of Light, Whole and Real, Tube of Light now congeal around my soul, protection seal, protect my body, protect my mind, that all that I receive be none other than divine. Thank you, God, for keeping me. Thank you, God, for direction. All is well, all is well through the spirit of protection. Violet fire, raise and raise, violet fire, heal my ways around my being, dance and blaze. Consume my air, expand my light, reveal my God, it is my right. Thank God for my consummation in the flame of transmutation. All is well, all is well. Thanks for the cosmic graduation. Yes, very interesting how the universe worked. That was money formula. <laughs> I was trying to get another one, but it's coming up now, Violet Fire One. But that was money, money crystallized. Stream right now into my hands, golden sun within me rise. Let abundance take a stand. So we could all use that abundance. So that's what that was. Okay, let's bring this one a little bit forward here. I'm a division of the will of the will from the blood of resurrection. 
Violet fire, raise and raise, violet fire, heal my ways. Around my being, dance and blaze. Consume my air, expand my light, reveal my God, it is my right. Thank God for my consummation in the flame of transmutation. All is well, all is well, thanks for cosmic graduation. Tube of light, whole and real, tube of light now congeal. Around my soul, protection seal. Protect my body, protect my mind, let all that I receive be none other than divine. Thank you, God, for keeping me. Thank you, God, for direction. All is well, all is well through the spirit of protection. <coughs> So all of those frequencies from my album Spirit Rap, Invocations and Prayers for the Millennium. So we are grateful to have the opportunity to invoke and dream awake the realities that we want. It's important that we speak the word in the recognition that Creator God is within our being. God, God is absolute. And that is the power that is behind all of our invocations and prayers that we speak. So we are grateful to Creator for backing us when we speak those prayers. We're grateful for Creator for aligning us with the reality that we are qualitative and microcosmic extensions of creator source and that whatever dilemmas and crises that we're facing within our world there has been planted within us that essence of divinity that can transcend all of it and so we are grateful for that we are grateful for that power within that transcends the difficulties that we face in life we're grateful that we are a microcosm of the vortex of creation, that any and everything that we want to bring forth is that which we summon from the inner sanctum of our being, which is the vortex of creation, which is the I and the I am of the storm, which is the inner sanctum of our being. Everything proceeds from within. And we say, Father, Mother God, into your heart we deliver our conscience 
so that we will always remember and exemplify your gift of divine innocence. I do this on behalf of all, and the light of eternal forgiveness shines through us. I am, we are, eternally innocent. Father, Mother God, into your heart I deliver my conscience so that I will always remember and exemplify your gift of divine innocence. I do this on behalf of all, and the light of eternal forgiveness shines through us. I am, we are, eternally innocent. In the vortex of creation is the reality of the innocence of being. All of the discrepancies, all of the violations of being are expressed in the outwardness of life wherein everything has an expiration date. There is nothing impure and nothing anti-divine whatsoever that emanates from the vortex of creation, that emanates from the central core of being, the I and the I am of the storm. And that's why we say, Father, Mother, God, into your heart I deliver my conscience so that I will always remember and exemplify your gift of divine innocence. I do this on behalf of all in the light of eternal forgiveness shines through us. I am, we are eternally innocent. It's time that we focus our attention upon the reality of the innocence of being that exists within. The innocence is to be sent from within. It is also that inner fragrance of being that is an expression of that which is divine within us. See, it is an inner scent as in a fragrance, a sacred fragrance of being. And all of that exists within the inner sanctum of our being, within the central core of our being. And it's time that we begin to identify more fully with the inner sanctum of our being and not always in the outwardness wherein the raging storms of life exists sometimes the nightmare of the earth dream but all of the chaos that exists in the outwardness of life is not the true reality of our being who we are is the sacredness of that which exists within the inner sanctum of being I read a quote from uh, the Rhythm Rumble workout uh, page on Instagram said that the, the greatest weight that you'll ever get rid of is the weight of other people's opinion, opinions. And I would say the greatest weight that you'll ever release is the weight of other people's judgments upon you. It is a question of how does our creator feel about us? How does God feel about you? And when you focus your attention upon how God feels about you, it'll be very different than all of the judgments and all of the negatives that come at you from so many different directions and so many different people. Creator sees you with infinite love and infinite validation by virtue of your beingness, by virtue of the fact that you are. None of it is having to do with what you do, achieve, or create. And yes, we've all made mistakes, and we've all fallen short, and we've all fallen off center. And the domain in which we do all of that is in the outwardness of life. We never fall off center from the inwardness of being. You know, we never hurt another being or hurt ourselves from the inwardness of being. That inwardness of being, that vortex of creation, is a place of pristine purity. And we want to be in the remembrance of that. And be of the spirit of forgivingness towards ourselves and towards others. Trust and forgiveness, the sacred twins. Trust brought you to this earth to heaven, forgiveness ascends. The rage of resentment blocks the lessons you must learn, and the darkest of relationships then constantly return. The weapon of distrust breathe the horrors of your pain, and distrustful ones will come to you until you trust again. Forgiveness is the master key opening the cage to set you free from distrust, misery, pain, and strife, from 
those you feel have wrecked your life? Who can do a thing to you that you yourself did not create? Will you place blame outside yourself or was it you who wove your fate? The past you reap, the future you sow, the present collects the debts you owe. If you had not the need, there would be no dirty deed, much wisdom to be gained from the center of your pain. Forgiveness is a must where it teaches you to trust. Suspicion is a hungry beast that rips away your inner peace. Let go now of past resentment toward fallen love of yesterday. If not, your past repeats itself and steals the joy of this great day. If you don't forgive the past, you can't trust the present. And you then attract a future untrustworthy and unpleasant. Forgiving the past, trusting the present, making the future sweet and pleasant. Blessing the darkness, making it right, reversing the tide and freeing the light. We honor the Lionsgate portal as that catalyst that triggers within us an alignment with our ascended master reality. That divinity of God, Goddess Absolute that lives within the central core of our being. We choose in this now moment to move in the resonance of our ascended master reality. That something within us that is infinite intelligence, infinite intelligence, that aligns with omnipotence, omniscience, and omnipresence. We are at one with the ascended frequency. We allow and let there be our alignment with ascension ad infinitum. We are therefore ascended. We come home to the reality of the ascended beingness that we are come home to the reality of that part of our being that transcends every pain, every fear, and every woe. We pierce to the center of all fear, pain, and woe, and we find the inner sanctum because the center is the domain of that absolute life. The center is the domain of the vortex of creation. And by virtue of that reality, we pierce to the center of any anti-divinity and we summon all of the energies back into the central core that aligns with and serves the resonance of the light, serves that which is divine. By virtue of this frequency of the Lion's Gate portal, we choose to remember who we really are, to remember the resonance of love that we are, that is love eternal, that is loving as it unfolds down the corridors of forever, and so we let love love us. We let love have its sacred way with us. We stand in the reality and the recognition that we are this love. We let peace have its way with us, the peace that passes all understanding. We don't have to coerce peace into being because we are peace. Peace is our nature, and peace is an eternal reality that exists within the central core of this vortex of creation. This I and I am of the storm, this sacred pause, this stillness in slow motion. We align with the divine that we truly are. We open to the resonance of wisdom. We allow all the wisdom that is, was, or ever will be, and even unto the wisdom of our creator source. Creator is the macrocosm of this great wisdom and we are the microcosm of this great wisdom and therefore the portal through which wisdom absolute can flow. By virtue of the power of God, Goddess Absolute within us, we own the resonance of this wisdom. We own the resonance of all of the abundance that is, was, or ever will be. Our nature is to be abundant. Our nature is to be rich and we are first and foremost billionaires of being and by virtue of our awareness of being billionaires of being we allow then the morphing of that frequency into crystallized manifestation and we have all of the manifest and crystallized wealth 
We are infinitely welcome to and worthy of all of the wealth that could ever come to be. We stand in the reality of our true nature to therefore be the heir and inherit all that has been given unto us. We accelerate in our maturity of consciousness to be able to claim this sacred and divine trust fund. And so we claim the trust fund of this love, of this wisdom, of this peace, of this power, of this abundance, of this wholeness, of this immunity, of this invincibility, invisibility, and invulnerability to all of the malintended forces upon our planet. By virtue of the God moving within us, we see the dissolution of all malicious intentions in governmental bodies and all of the false powers that be. We recognize the powerlessness of any malintended frequency upon this earth or anywhere within the universe. If it ain't divine, it ain't mine. Only what's divine is truly mine. If it ain't divine, it ain't thine. Only what's divine is truly thine. We own the reality of who we are. We thank you, divine creator. We love you and we honor you. And we embrace the sacredness and the safety of our being. And we send forth a counterpart of this exaltation that we feel onto any being that may be in a state of fear. We lift you up, those who are afraid. We bring you back into the central core of your being, to that place where you are aware of your invincibility, invisibility, and invulnerability to all negative intentions, to any viruses, any sicknesses, any anti-divinity. Our being knows no limit. We are God, Goddess within. Horizon of this moment with eternity, we blend. Every space is here, every time is now, every one is us. Full awakening of eternal remembrance, that in which we trust. Immortal hands, immortal body, immortal energy, immortal healing, we as God and Goddess do. All that Creator will ever do. A man, a woman, a God, a Goddess, we be absolute reality, so it is. And blessed be. Thank you, beloveds, for presencing with me. Uh, remember to get the information off of my Facebook page for the 90-minute webinar on Wednesday, Fearless Heart Activation, where I'll be in co-creation with my beloveds, the Sienna Sherman and Masood Ali Khan. It's going to be a miraculous time. Please join us for that experience. You can get all of the particulars on the post on my Facebook page. Thank you for visiting my website, experiencing some of my music, 22 music albums to choose from, a couple of books also available for intuitive astrological readings as well as sound healing transmissions with didgeridoo and vocal harmonics. You can find more than 700 videos across the platforms of YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And I feel so honored to be at this point more than 2.9 million views across those three platforms. Thank you, Divine Creator, for enabling me to touch so many people. Be sure and leave your comments because they become a catalyst of blessing for so many others. You never know how you're going to bless certain people who are tuning in. I love you so much. I thank you for remembering who you are. I thank you for coming home to yourself. I thank you for aligning with your divine empowerment, knowing that you are invincible, invisible, and invulnerable to all negatives. Thank you for knowing that you make a monumental impact upon the expansion of life, that life is better by virtue of you. And thank you for knowing that the only prerequisite that you need for loving you is that you live, move, and have your being, for that is how God loves you, based upon your being, not based upon your doing, achieving, or creating, but based upon your being. 
Oh, I see my son is watching. <laughs> Eric Hardy, I love you so much. Thank you for being in there. Oh, my precious son, my young king. <laughs> All is well in the kingdom of this divine moment. I love you, beloveds. Give yourself a big hug and pinch yourself on all four cheeks, top and bottom. That's a sweet cheekaboo for you, from you. <laughs> Peace and blessings.